I get up, we're your Pacific delegation. Hi, uh, my name is Paul, Paul Nalao, I'm from uh, Vanuatu. Carlos from Pompeii, Federated States of Micronesia. Kerana and Luana from the Cook Islands. Hello, Christina from Solomon Islands. Kerana and from the Cook Islands. Um, I'm from the western part of the Solomons, uh, a group of islands called the Solomon Islands. And I, live, uh, I and my family live on an island called Munia, Munia Island, that's home, that's paradise. There's king tides because the island is small, you can go around it in like three, uh, five hours. And because it, it, it's small, so even though if we want to go inland, it won't, it's, not, it's not what you consider safe. It's better be a, a, a get out from the island or you do it. On an island, in my family, like three houses are on the island. And in, the, in those houses, we have like eight people. So yeah, all the boats are always on standby. Yeah, you know, you never know what would happen. I'm from Tana, uh, Vanuatu. Uh, Tana is in the southern province of uh, Vanuatu. Uh, it's known for its uh, one of the most accessible volcanoes in Vanuatu, Yasso Volcano. And also, if you have seen the Meet the Natives <laughs> program of National Czech Republic, uh, um, that's the island where I come from. And Pompeii is about 30 square miles, and with a population of uh, about 40 to 50,000 people. Pompeii is the capital of the Federated States of Micronesia. I'm from, the, I'm from the Cook Islands, from the main island of Rarotonga. It's a very small island, it's 32 kilometres around, which means you pretty much know everyone. Um, and I live on the south side of that island, so when, there are, um, when we're hit really strongly by cyclones, our side is quite hard hit. So that's one of the effects of climate change that we feel quite heavily. I remember when I was little we had maybe one really nasty one every few years and maybe some smaller ones in each cyclone season but and I think it was 2005 there were five cyclones in a row in the two month period of the cyclone season so it was back to back just constantly. I'm from the islands of Aitstaki that's in Kokan it's much smaller than um, where Luana is from Rarotonga and uh, we're very famous for our lagoon it's so beautiful and um, if you have any chance to come and visit us, it will be awesome. In Vanuatu, and I think in other Middle Eastern island countries like Solomons and Papua New Guinea, you have a uh, middle name or your custom name. And for me, my middle name is uh, Taco. And that name ties you to your land. So uh, I, like my, I can go and live in Australia for maybe 100 years and one of my great-grandchildren can go back to Vanuatu and go to my village, to Tana, go to my village and say, my name is Taco, I'm related to Taco, and the people will say, this is your land. So it's, the name ties you to your land. And uh, uh, with the sea level rising and all this uh, twist, I mean, um, effects of climate change, and if people are forced to get out of their lands, or if people are forced to evacuate uh, because of sea level, uh, rice, they stand, uh, they stand on the brink of losing, losing their connection to the land. Well, not just that, I mean, that is the culture, the identity of that area, of those people. So I think that's one thing that we forget to uh, recognize when we're discussing here is that it's more than survival, this is, it's, it's an extinction of a culture. Thanks for your support.